Hello, I am Teresa, co-host of the Earrings Off podcast. Today we are talking about manifestation. Like, really, what the heck is manifestation anyway? We will share a definition, but the long and short of it is that manifestation is akin to the art of turning your thoughts into reality, like some sort of a magical DIY project. I mean, really, anything from finding your soulmate to landing a dream job, manifestation knows no bounds. So stay tuned as we explore the power of manifestation and manage to sprinkle a little bit of laughter along the way. So much for listening to this episode of Earrings Off. We want to invite you to subscribe, rate, and leave us a review. You can find us on Facebook at Earrings Off Podcast and on Instagram at The Earrings Off Podcast. Welcome to Earrings Off. I'm Lou. And I'm Teresa. Let's get started. Well, hello, partner. Hello, hello, hello. How we doing? What's shaking? You know, <laughs> not much. <laughs> not, not much. Not, not much. much. What about okay. with you? What's shaking? I'm, do- I'm doing fine. Um, you know, I told you I'm still on a natural high from um talking with a former um colleague and hearing some complimentary things about my management style all true I might add for the sake of the audience <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh it's just good to I had a, a good day yesterday so well, that's great yeah yeah it is great but listen um Teresa I wanted to talk about manifestation now first of all manifestation is the process of bringing something into reality through your thoughts, beliefs, feelings, and actions. It's often associated with the law of attraction, a concept that suggests that like attracts like, and that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or negative experiences into your life. Mm -hmm. So... It's like, okay, the you know, quantum physics states that everything in the world is made up of energy. So it's about having the energy, good energy to attract the energy that you want so that you can, what you're dreaming for, believing for, actually comes into being into being. But you know what? But then when you when you think about that, the I guess the challenge is with manifestation. It's not just thinking. You have to put some action behind it. Yeah. What's the scripture? Faith without works? Yes, Dad. You know, you, you know, that's exactly right, though, Lou. It is you you set the intention of whatever the thing is, and yeah. then you absolutely have to plan and you have to create goals to help you get to it, right? So it's right. But I think more than anything, it's that whole power of positive thinking. Right. When I think of manifestation, that's exactly what I think of. Yeah. I think about, I think about gratitude. I think about setting the intentions. I think about belief uh, and believing in, in it. And, you know, and then uh, somewhere along the way, you got to trust while believing and taking action that this thing is going to happen for you. Yeah, but see, but I guess what gets confusing for me is people who say, well, you know, I manifested that. Okay, I- I'll give you an example. Like right now, Teresa, do you know who Travis Kelsey is? I do. All right, hey, Teresa, do you know who he's <laughs> dating, Teresa? I, I-, I do. <laughs> okay, all right. I thought I was going to have to do a little bit more education. Go ahead, Teresa. So anyway, so you know, Travis Kelsey is now dating Taylor Swift. And he says the way that they met, he really wanted to meet her. And now listen at this. He really wanted to meet her. And so people are saying, well, he manifested that. But actually 
what he did, he went to his concert and then went, went to her concert. And then when he didn't get to meet her, he has a podcast. They're fellow podcasters, he and his brother, Teresa. We're family practically, you know, but, <laughs> but, but anyway, on their podcast, he said, he said on the podcast, you know, I really wanted to meet her. I went to the concert, couldn't could meet her and somebody picked it up in Taylor's circle and got the message to her. That's not, see, that's, you can want that, but he put some action behind it. You know, he, he put some action behind it. And frankly, I don't know if that's a good example because that's, a that's, creepy, what that's a little creepy to me. I mean, that's not he, creepy. He How wanted that to creepy? meet her. He, yeah. I mean, she was at a, Hey, oh, hey, yeah. uh, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me stop this right now because you are going to ruin, you know, my latest pastime, which is keeping up with Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. So don't do that. Okay, well, I think we need to talk about that. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> what in uh, the world? <laughs> sadly, I am serious. <laughs> I'm gone. Well, you know, Wait, I let me follow- understand something. You I haven't listened to the sports. Beyonce album, but you don't. You you follow well, the Taylor Swift. Okay, okay. Well, if you must know, uh, Beyonce is not in sports. Okay, <laughs> Travis Kelsey is. So when I'm checking my scores and everything, which is the first thing I do, okay, right after I say my morning prayer, I go online. I check the scores from the night before, and something pops up about the Kansas City Chiefs. Kel- Travis Kelsey, then I'm down the Taylor Swift hole. So yes, no, I may not know as much as I need to know about Beyonce. No, she the queen. Girl, this is exactly <laughs> what I needed today. I am over here laughing my well, you know what you, off. Well, you picked at me for knowing about it, and you know I checked the scores as soon as I, after I say my morning prayers. <laughs> And I have my devotional. The ne- the very next thing I we do digress. is go online go and Get see back to the who subject. won what. Anyway, so you are not going to ruin this for me. Okay? So, okay. all right. Woo. Okay. So, anyway. So, but my point is, and it's not creepy, he put some action behind his desires. So, and, and, and then, like, Teresa, I read one lady, uh, I read about one lady who said, and listen at this. Her name is Chantel. Chantal. She, manif- she says she manifested her dream job. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, but then she said, okay, I knew I wanted to work at this place. So I started going into the building. I visualized myself there. I get that. But she also learned about the culture of the organization. She put in resumes. She, she tried to figure out where her skill set might be fit and she interviewed several times she let her friends who worked there know I want to work in this organization so it wasn't just her in la la land wishing for something she was putting some serious work behind it I think you're right though I think manifestation is all of that as you described in that story you have to know what you want you got to visualize yourself you know, you got to set yeah, those intentions. Yeah. And like I said before, you got to believe and you yeah, got to take yeah. action. Right. But right, it, right. it got me wondering, though, as we talk about it, you know, we have such grand ideas and, you know, manifestations for earrings off. So what are we doing wrong here? <laughs> well, um, not to talk about us too much publicly (laughs) but when I said the lady used her skills and everything we we talk about it was often we work hard but you and I have been very honest in knowing where we need to be short of a bit yeah Yeah, so so that's all but you know what that's it that's it that that that's all that's what it is but what what frustrates me, I think, about the manifestation, and you, Teresa, you, you're absolutely right. You know we believe in it. We do mantras, oh, yeah. all of that. Oh, yeah. But I don't want people to think it's just about sitting in a chair and thinking about it, and that's going to bring it to pass, you know? Right, right. Yeah. Well, th- yeah, there are... It's... 
there are those who are online who have that type of, it's like a woo woo, woo woo, you know, manifestation yeah, kind yeah. of thing around right, it. Like right, I thought right. about, I thought about the fact that I was going to be on a 60 foot yacht and here I am. Right. Right. It's, it's right. Not, right. That's yeah. not the whole story. And right, that's the problem right. with, with um, exactly social right. media, yeah. you know, people, you have to put the work in, you have to, right, right. you know, there are some lucky folks out there, you know, that there things are. happen for, but, but right. for right. the average person, I mean, it's the whole thing about setting right. those intentions, visualizing yourself, right. And leaving so, in it and taking action. Absolutely. And being but grateful. I, but I do believe that, you know, I read that book, uh, The Secret, uh, years ago, and, and uh, I might have uh, read it twice. But anyway, I, I do believe that sometimes the universe is trying to tell you something, you know, that you have to be open to the cues of what's going on in your environment yeah. so that you can pick up on, okay, maybe that is an opportunity. Maybe it's just not happenstance that I'm here today or I met this person or I'm talking to this person, that you have to be aware that sometimes things do lie, you know, the, the universal lines in your favor. You have to be able to take advantage of that. But what's dangerous is if you're getting these magazine pictures out of magazines and you're clipping the yachts and the big house and all of that, and you're not doing anything else except putting together a, a vision board, that can't be the whole extent of it. It has to be more than that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that is part of it though. Yeah. 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 That's the yeah. visualization piece of it. Right. Sure. Right. But right. that's not the whole story is what, what we're saying. Right, right. And you do. You're right. The visualization is, is part of it because you want to be, sometimes it helps to be very specific about what you're dreaming and hoping and manifesting for. So, yeah, yeah. Just making sure that you're aware of your energy because, you know, it's, it is true that if you, you can wake up sometimes in the morning and just feel like you're in a bad mood. And you, you start the day that way. And then sure enough, it, it, it becomes a bad day because you're attracting that. You sort of, that's the energy that you have. That's we right. have to be aware of what we're thinking because when I, you know, in the mornings, I think to myself, today's going to be a great day. You know, I'm going to make it so. And that's so right. you right. try to make sure you're aware of that and also that we're aware of who's in our environment and impacting our energy. You know, if you got negative folks around you and haters and you, know, you have to be careful of that because yes. that can permeate in your spirit and impact your energy and that how you're feeling. We want people to be aware that manifestation affirmations are real. What you say to yourself, you talk to yourself more than you do anyone else throughout the day. You're 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 getting messages from yourself. And so be careful what you're what you're allowing uh, yourself to hear about what you can achieve, what you can do about your dreams, where you're going, all of that. Be aware of what messages you're sending and not only to just uh, be aware of communications, but sit down and take a minute and say, okay, if this is my goal, what are the steps to get there? Right. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Take some time to, to strategize and figure out how do I get from point A to point B? And then even further, if that's what I choose to do. That's our episode today on manifestations. Teresa, do, is anything else permeating in your spirit today? No, I just want to add that, you know, manifestation is, is highly personal yeah. and it's subjective, right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, results are, not everybody is going to be a millionaire sailing on a 60 foot yacht you know what I mean like yeah. so it's it it doesn't mean that it can't happen for you so don't give up just plan set your intentions visualize 
you know, and go for it. Yeah. Take action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and I read, that's interesting you say that, Teresa, because you're right. Not everyone's going to do that. But you also have to, when you're talking about manifestations and your dreams and your hopes, maybe go a little deeper and figure out why is it I want to be on a 60 foot yacht? What's that about? You know, I oh, mean, now what? You get deep. Yeah. well, I'm just saying sometimes yeah. we need to think about pull the veil back a bit and see, is this something that society has put in my head and the media and all these images? This is what I should have. Or is this something really that you believe you truly want? want. That's a yeah. good point. Yeah. That's and so, yeah. So that's something we have to be mindful of, um, that we're not letting other people's desires and what they believe um, to, to what they believe equates to success or accomplishment. Is it yours? Is it really what you want? And then you take it from there. That's it for us here today at Irresolve. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, as always, we wish you the very best. Take good care. All right.